real talk for a second. I'm kind of disappointed in you guys for letting me talk for like 15 minutes without telling me that the angle that I was talking at made me have a really bad double chin. Hello from me and my giant pimple on my forehead here. It, I feel like it has a personality and like mind of its own. I don't know what's going on. So I wanted to make this little like vloggy type um, video today. I want to keep you guys updated, um, like I said in my last video, kind of on how things are going. Yeah, I guess you didn't like expect to see another video from me so soon. Surprise, Surprise bitch. bitch. I wanted to tell you guys that I, as of yesterday, um, I have my visa. I don't have it physically. I went and I submitted all the applications and I got the receipt so I can pick it up Friday assuming that there aren't any hitches you know in the meantime um, but yeah so let me tell you a little bit about the process of getting a visa I get there and the security is very high outside the embassy I get up there and the security guards like why are you here I was like well I have to apply for a visa he goes what kind of visa like a student visa he's like well do you have paperwork from the school you're supposed to go to and I was like in fact, I do. So I go up to the, the like, you, you're in line, you go in the queue. And the, um, it's like, have you ever seen Beetlejuice? That scene where he gets there and they give him a ticket. Some crazy number. And the thing beeps and it says that they're on number four. Like, and he knew he was going to be there forever. That was, like, exactly how I felt. I was getting more nervous as it got closer to, you know, my, my turn because like I was seeing them like not turning people away but like everyone was up there for like a really long time and they were like I could see the people not like yelling at them but like I could see them like treating them like why don't you know this like why didn't you have this form or why isn't this done or you know where's this document or whatever and I get like very stressed out in situations like that just because like I like I feel I feel very stupid sometimes like in those sorts of situations but I was like super anal about getting everything together beforehand. So I was like, I'm pretty sure I have everything. And I, you know, I read everything on the embassy's website and I like, you know, double checked that I was going to have everything. And so my number gets called and I'm like shitting myself and I get up there and she didn't say anything. I handed her the paperwork and literally in less than two minutes, our whole transaction was done. She's like, okay, come get it Friday. You know, if you have all that stuff done ahead of time, because that paperwork and all that stuff takes like a long time. So if you have it all done, everyone would only take two minutes and I wouldn't have had to sit there for over two hours to hand in my stuff and in two minutes have her say, okay, come get it Friday. So that was that. Once my visa stuff was like set into motion, I got home and I like started looking at flights and stuff and I did something that I regret a little bit. So basically I booked a flight and I've already since canceled and rebooked a different flight. I was like, I just want to go with the cheapest flight. Like, I don't care where I got to stop. Like, it's fine. I don't know. Which is like not normally my mentality. Like, usually I'd rather like pay a little bit more, even though I don't necessarily have the money, for my own comfort and like at catering to my own anxiety. I usually want to get there as fast as I can and as easily as I can, even if it costs a little bit more. So I didn't do that. I like booked a flight that was like $600, which to go from, you know, New Jersey to China is nothing, is, is very, very cheap, $600. And the reason why it was so cheap was because I would have had to fly from New Jersey six hours to San Francisco, have a four hour layover in San Francisco, then have a 12 hour flight to Beijing and then like a three and a half or four hour flight to Guiyang. It's like more than a day of traveling. And I was like, yeah, it's fine. It's only $600, like it's totally fine. I'll kind of get back to what happened after I booked it, like later in the night, cause I don't want to talk about that right now. Um, I'll come back to it in a minute though. It'll all like come together. But so I slept on it and I woke up this morning and I was like, you know what? I don't think I made the right choice. So I canceled that flight, got a full, re well, almost a full refund. I was able to get everything back except for like the $40 security or um, insurance or whatever I had paid. I mean, in the scheme of things, when you're paying like, you know, $1,400 end game for a flight, like what's 40 bucks? I rebooked, I booked a separate flight 
from New Jersey to Beijing to Guiyang. So there's one stop. You have to have at least one stop just because um, I don't think any planes... Actually, I don't know if Guiyang itself has an international airport, but I know for sure that no planes from like this area go directly to there. So I was thinking about it. I was like, damn, in the six hours it's going to take me to get from here to California, I could be halfway to China already. And then I'm like going to, you know, like add a bunch of hours just to like hang out a little bit. Like, I don't know about that. This flight was the best as far as like what I think my needs are, but it was also more expensive. Like I have to pay extra for a second bag, which kind of sucks because my original flight, it was free. But also on the original flight, they only had middle seats. And if you're anxious, like me, you probably know that um, you would prefer an aisle because um, it's faster access to get up if you're feeling claustrophobic or if you have to go to the bathroom or, you know, whatever. Because my, my issue is that I can't sleep in a moving vehicle. Like, I can't sleep in a car, I can't sleep on a bus, and I can't sleep in a plane, and it's awful. Everyone else around you is sleeping, and the problem is that I get sick very often. Um, mostly nerves and, like, whatever. Really, really hate having to wake someone up or in a panic if I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I hate having to try and push past people. So for the, the newer flight that I booked, I was able to book a, um, an aisle seat very close to a bathroom so there's my seat the aisle and then where the seat would be on the other side of the aisle there's nothing so i actually have like a little bit of extra like open air around me which is like good i guess that's preferable to you know what i had originally so even though i paid more money and even though you know it's like i lost those that damn 40 bucks it's okay, I'll survive. And I think I'll be much happier and much more comfortable, uh, as comfortable as I can be because, damn, flying from, you know, like New York, New Jersey to Asia, it just sucks. It always sucks. For some reason with all my anxieties, like being in a metal trap, all those, you know, feet in the sky doesn't bother me. But the idea of sitting in one space and not being able to like, see other surroundings, that really bothers me. There's no comfortable way to get to Asia, which really sucks. So anyway, last night I, um, I had this like, I had the first like real panic attack about my situation because for a while, you know, before I had my visa, before I booked the flight, whatever, it still was kind of like not very real. It wasn't like tangible. But now, like, I have a date set. Like, I can look at my calendar and say, okay, I have this many days left or, you know, whatever. I'm flying out the 27th and today's already the 2nd. So I'm like, whoa. Like, my time is, like, going very quickly. And I had the first of, like, probably what's going to be several panic attacks. And today I feel a little bit better because, like, right now the sun's out. It's always easier for me to feel better when it's nice outside or you know when it's light when it's daytime but like at night when i'm trying to go to bed or when i have nowhere to go when it's dark and it's you know whatever i always feel worse and i know that that's the case for a lot of people so i know a lot of you guys can probably relate to that um but yeah i wanted to film not not the actual like issue that i was having yesterday but i wanted to film after it someone told me that you know because I, well i texted jack um you know in toronto i texted him and I was like, damn, like, I don't think I can do it. Like, I really think I've made a big mistake. Like, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And he was like, but you seem like, cause he watched the video that I announced, you know, that I was moving. He's like, but you seem like you had it all together. When I'm making a video or like when I'm talking to people about it, it's okay. Like, it's very easy for me to, I don't even know what the word is, but it's not like I'm putting on a show. It's not like I'm fake or whatever, but like I have something else to occupy my mind and it doesn't seem like as awful but when i'm alone and like all this stuff suddenly washes over me um it's like really really intense and really scary stress is a big trigger and i was worried i like it always worries me that i'm gonna like lose my mind and do something really awful or you know just like or that I'm gonna hurt myself and I don't want you guys to be alarmed like if you're new to this channel I don't um, want to hurt myself I feel like I should specify that every once in a while in case you just suddenly found me um I have a feeling it's gonna happen again tonight 
um, once it gets dark and once I'm alone and I realize, you know, that like I'm going to be away from my family, Jack's not here, and I can't really, it's hard to not be able to talk to him all the time. I think he's trying to distance himself, which I understand, and it's fine, um, but it just seems like everything that was familiar is all falling apart all at the same time. I'll probably add more on to this so this may not be the only clip. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I don't think you give a shit how I'm gonna edit this vlog. If, you know, something changes or if I have any other, like, updates, I'll add it. Probably just make one big video, so I don't know when this will come out. In the meantime, <laughs> wish me luck. Okay, so update. Um, it is several hours later. Um, it's about 11 o'clock now. I, I feel okay. Not good but not like terrible as I, you know, was yesterday. I think I'm gonna attribute a lot of it to the fact that for some reason this Dunkin' Donuts that I've been going to, like the past two times that I've gotten um, their lattes there, I always, always, always order decaf. And the last two times I felt really shitty and I think they didn't give me decaf. As I've gotten older and my anxiety has gotten worse, um, I just can't tolerate it anymore, I guess. Um, and it makes me nauseous and anxious and you know, very shaky, and I just don't have a clear head, and it's just, I, I don't know. It, so I'm thinking that's part of why I felt so awful, and that's maybe why I panicked so bad, coupled with all of the, like, booking the flight and getting the visa and have everything become very, like, real all at once. Um, I think that's probably part of it. I don't know. Most of what's got me down right now is kind of related to everything else that's going on in my life. I realize that it's not really fair for me to put other people's lives kind of out there um, for you guys. I obviously don't give a shit about saying anything about my life, but it's not really fair when it's my life but as it relates to someone else and, and their life and their privacy. I just feel like shit. It's been a long time, you know, since I've stayed by the phone, like, waiting to hear from someone, or, um, you know, felt kind of like I didn't know how to approach talking to someone. You know, that awful sinking feeling that you care more, which isn't always necessarily a bad thing, um, but in my situation, it doesn't feel good. Um, so that's bothering me because I feel like I've misread a lot of what's happening, and I look really stupid now, I think, and I feel like maybe that is kind of happening, um, that I'm looking really pathetic, so I know what I should do. One of those situations where, like, every outcome is really shitty. Either way, I'm gonna end up really upset, so... I'm just trying to, like, be an adult, but, like, being an adult is hard. I'm not an adult. I'm a baby. I'm sorry. I, like, I don't know. I didn't do anything, like, exciting in this vlog. I just talked, so hopefully that's okay. But, like I said, I wanted to keep you, keep you guys updated with, like, how I'm feeling and how everything's happening. So that's what I'm trying to do. Thanks for sticking around. Probably embarrassed myself a bunch and like I hope that no one I am close with or no one that I really know watches this whole thing because that's really embarrassing. Um, but that's kind of a risky take. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try and I have work tomorrow morning so I'm gonna try and get some sleep kind of early. So I'll see you when I see you. Bye guys. All right guys, thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Follow me on social media, do whatever you need to do. And if you're interested, here's a clip of my last video. Just come back from Cape Cod. I was there for like three days. I had like half a day in between when I was gonna go to Toronto for almost a week to help my boyfriend.